right, welcome to this another exciting Python tip. And today what we're going to be talking about is linear regression in Python with scikit-learn. So what we're going to be doing today is we're actually going to be creating a, a linear regression model that fits this data. And you can see it's just a, a straight line that goes down through here. So we're doing a simple linear regression and we're going to make this visualization here with the fit, the fitted model from scikit-learn. So um, to get started today, what you want to do is, if you haven't done so already, join our weekly Python Tips newsletter. You just sign up here. Here's the link, and that'll get you access to our GitHub repo. Right now, we have four tips in here. So we're going to be working on the fourth tip. It's a linear regression 04 a linear reg pot.py. You're going to open this file. Um, and uh, it's just real easy. All you do is just click this button, and that'll refresh your session, and you will be good to go. Uh, once you're set up for the Python tips. To get started here, what we're going to do is load in some libraries. So the first libraries we're going to be loading uh, are NumPy and uh, Pandas. So I'm just going to do Shift and Enter. I'm going to uh, then load in from sklearn.linearmodel, so the linear model module in scikit-learn. We're going to import the linear regression model. And we're going to import also R squared. That's going to be one of the metrics that we take a look at. Um, then what we're going to do is load in some data. So we're going to be loading in the MPG underscore DF data set. It's gotten miles per gallon. So this is our target. This is the fuel efficiency of a vehicle. And we've got various attributes about vehicles uh, like the cylinders, the displacement, horsepower, uh, model year, and so on. And then the names of the models. So what we're going to be doing is going down through and doing a linear regression. We're going to regress the MPG versus the weight of the vehicle. Okay, to get started here, uh, we're going to be talking about linear regression, MPG versus weight. We're going to be performing what's called ordinary least squares regression. And if you've heard of linear regression, this is basically what you've been taught. So uh, we're going to take two regressors or one regressor, uh, which is weight, and we're going to regress uh, to determine what the uh, MPG is. So uh, once we have our data loaded in, we're going to just take these two columns and it's going to be MPG versus weight. And we're going to set up our target as MPG. So we're going to grab that out and it's just going to be a pandas series. Uh, and we can see it's name MPG and these are the values. And then we're going to grab our single regressor and this is going to be as a data frame so x we can see here is a data frame with weight um, and this will be the standard format that you'll want to use for scikit-learn uh, and if you wanted to add more features you could add them in here uh, so we're basically just doing a column subset to grab the features then it's really easy in scikit-learn you just set up your linear regression model and you run fit on it so when we do this shift enter uh, what it does is it creates a linear regression model that has been fitted uh, we can get some results out of it so if i want to know what the coefficient was uh, for that weight so i can see that there's a negative coefficient which indicates that as the weight increases uh, one horsepower or uh, one pound uh, it'll go down, the horsepower will go down by negative 0.00767. So just a small, tiny bit. But as you can see, as, as you get higher in weight, you're going to have a negative um, uh, model. So it's going to predict um, lower and lower MPGs. Then there is the intercept, which is our starting point. So the models, if they are zero weight, would start out at 46 miles per gallon in our model. Okay, uh, next we can talk about predictions. It's really easy. We just use the dot predict method and we give it the weights um, data frame. So make sure that this comes in as a data frame uh, of weights and we're gonna run predict and it's gonna make some predictions. And it makes a bunch of predictions for us here. Um, what's cool is we can get the in, in sample R squared score. So uh, this comes from the scikit-learn metrics and I can see it's 0.69, which indicates that there's a variance being explained. If you don't know what that means, it just means that as the, as the data set varies, 
the model is um, is predicting and explaining uh, around 70% of the variance or 69%. And uh, conversely, uh, a, mo a, a very poor model would be around zero, a very uh, perfect model would be one. Again, this is on the in-sample metrics, so this is not unseen data, but what we're doing is basically just getting an idea of what our uh, R-squared value is. Okay, next thing what we wanna do is we wanna visualize. So we're going to use a tool that, uh, called Plot9. It's a software um, that emulates ggplot two from the R uh, library, but this is completely in Python. And basically what it's for is creating custom matplotlib plots. Uh, and, and it does a really good job. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna import several uh, functions from plot nine, ggplot, aes, geompoint, geomline, and the theme minimal. Uh, we're going to then in our data frame, so our data frame looks like this. We have just mpg and weight. And what I'm gonna do is add a column called fitted, and I'm gonna use that predict function that we saw before that predict method and it's going to add another column fitted here um, and then uh, the next thing is we're going to create our plot using the plot 9 package and it creates this plot and we can zoom in on it and open it up and uh, zoom, zoom in and we can see it's doing a, a pretty good job at showcasing that negative trend so you can see that line goes up here and then as vehicles increase in weight it's definitely showing that there's a negative trend going on cool so now you know how to do linear regression in python with scikit-learn uh, if you want to learn more uh, learning python for data science automation i have a new course that's out uh, you learn all sorts of different tools you go through a full automation taking excel files in uh, creating a database uh, manipulating the data with pandas, uh, doing some uh, modeling with the SK time package, and also plot nine for visualizations. So if you want to take a course that really teaches you a full scale project over several weeks, then this is the course for you. Definitely check it out. I'll leave the link in the notes. It's also here in the code base. So uh, check that course out and uh, it'll really help you skyrocket your career. All right, until next time, I'll see ya.